In this video, I'm going to teach you how to transfer WordPress domain to Wix. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to go over the process and the steps that you might want to consider when transferring a WordPress domain to Wix. So in order to do this, you will have to initiate it from the specific domain name, registrar or service provider. So basically, when you own a domain through WordPress, usually it is going to be hosted on a different provider where it's connected to your WordPress site. These providers can vary and you will be able to check at any time, but some examples would be Bluehost, Hostinger, Dreamhost, and so on. So let's say, for example, your WordPress website was hosted on Hostinger. Then you would have to initiate the transfer process on the Hostinger page and not WordPress. So for the first optional step, identify your current domain registrar. Keep in mind that if you prefer not to transfer your domain name for whatever reason, you can keep your current registrar, for example, Hostinger, and just point the domain to your new Wix site, which I'm going to go over. But if you want to transfer the domain altogether, you will have to figure out which is the service where your WordPress site is hosted and initiate the transfer from there. This process usually involves acquiring an authorization code known as an EPP code and then doing a certain step on Wix, which I'm also going to go over. So if you skipped that first step, then you don't have to get the authorization code. But if you did, you will have to note it down. Now, on the Wix page, all that you have to do is look for domains. When you look for domains, you will be able to find it here. And now you can include the domain that you have hosted on a specific provider that links to your WordPress website. So I'm going to type an example here. And if it gets detected, you will get the option to transfer. Keep in mind that this domain needs to be properly unlocked and you need to have the authorization code. If it isn't locked, if it isn't unlocked, you will get this message and they are going to teach you how to unlock the website. But if you properly unlock the website before initiating the transfer, then you will be able to include the authorization code here. So all that you have to do is look for the domain. If it has been properly unlocked, click let's go and then include the authorization code. I hope I was able to help you on how to transfer WordPress domain to Wix. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.